Well, I had to come and show off my uh, my new toy. So you can see the three different sizes of Glocks here. G19, which I've had for uh, for two months now. Beautiful little gun. Really like it. My old 17C, which uh, I've had for quite a while and uh, has never failed me. And a uh, nice little gun. You can really see the color difference in the slides for uh, like a seven year difference in uh, manufacturing. These are, of course, uh, Austrian. But what I just received today. It was this behemoth. This is the uh, the G40, and uh, just got it today. Just took it fully down and give it a clean, and uh, put it back together. And this thing is just uh, just a freaking monster. There, how's that look? Oh, that was still a little off. So of course the G17 being the uh, the regular size, the 19 being the the compact. So it's shorter and uh, scoot shorter on the grip here as well. But then the G40 being uh, just a freaking monster. That's uh, what two inches longer on the slide there. Hang on, where's my tape measure? Yeah, uh, two inches longer on this on the slide. And uh, but where I'm really noticing the difference in this gun, when I and I didn't realize this when I bought it, because uh, I bought it over the internet, was well, first of all, the weight is so much heavier; it's just crazy. But um, it's a lot wider, which really surprised me. I wasn't expecting that. Um, and the heft of that, like it's it's wider, it's thicker. Everything about this gun is just it's like it's like a Glock supersized, a supersized Glock. It's uh, there. On well, the 19, it's quite a bit quite a bit wider. But I was not expecting that at all. I, the I thought it would just be just a longer, you know, 17 is what I was expecting. I was not expecting. This behemoth. This thing is just. Uh, oh, I got some oil on my rug here. The th it, it's just. Uh, it's just crazy. It's crazy big. Like it's. It is huge in the hands. But I hadn't seen it before, and I needed a 10 mil. And it's also. It's also longer through here. Um, I'm assuming because the 10 mil ammo, of course, is so much longer because it's the 40 cal magnum load, right? So it. Crazy, uh, crazy big. So, that part is bigger than the 17. But uh, this is what this is what cracked me up was the uh, the barrel. It's just. Uh, oh, I probably missed a spot. Where, oh, what's going off of that? The barrel is that's just huge, huge, huge. But anyway, I wanted just to show oof, this. <laughs> that's huge. I uh, just wanted to show it because it's uh, it's it's I don't know it makes me laugh every time I pick it up. It's just it's so big. I just uh, can't wait to. Get it on the range and and try some 10 millimeter. Ah, that missed the reel. I did, didn't I? So I put the um, the beaver tail on it uh, because um, the Glocks always sit really low in my hand, and so when they slide, they they're barely just clearing my hand. That little bore axis. And it's never been a problem. 
but uh, I figured I'm, I'm anticipating some jump with this gun so I put the beaver tail on there just to keep it well away from my hand I don't want to be getting nipped by that that thing is crazy huge oh well I just thought I'd share if someone else is looking to buy one like I was they can not be as surprised as I was by about, about the size of it and just for interest sakes for comparison 460 460 Rowland on a 1911 platform it's almost the exact same size so oh, I can even fit them both on there almost the exact same size There's a bare defense guns right there. If your wrist can handle it, I guess. There we go.